Hey guys, and welcome to Top 10 One on One, and today we're going to be looking at a new AI generator that generates high quality 3D models, and this is called Rodin. So we have seen generators that can generate text, we have seen AI generators that can generate images and video, and we also saw some generators that can generate a 3D meshes, but most of the models generated by these AIs were not very usable, they had too much polygons and you had to do a lot of cleanup. But this new AI by Hyperhuman called Rodin is a lot more better. Rodin can generate 3D models that are well textured, retopologized and ready to use using a text to 3D model or an image to 3D model. So if you have an image, you can just upload it in, into Rodin and you can see some of the examples here. Just look at how detailed that chair is and it looks exactly like what you see from the image they used to generate that model. You, I'm also going to be testing out this AI myself so that I can show you how you can use it yourself. And here are some other examples. We have Pikachu here. And just look at the mesh detail that you're seeing. Uh, this does proper UV unwrapping and texturing on top of retopologizing the 3D model so that you can easily make modifications if you want to. Yeah, here is another, a few objects that were generated using the Rodin AI. You can see a bat, a tank, a dog, and uh, this character. So let's go into Rodin and see how we can use it. So this is the interface and you can even see what others have done here. With the AI, you can see a simple sofa set, a dragon. So the models can be as complicated as you can imagine. Look at this column. If you like any of these, you can even just click on the model. Now you can see the prompt they use or image they used and explore the model directly here. Their web viewer even gives you the option to see the process it took to generate the model. So they start off with this low resolution model that it enhances to create a more detailed 3D model that is well retopologized. You can even see the different edge loops that make this and you can even go to wireframe and just look at the detail. So let's say we are architects and we're trying to fill a building with furniture. So you can just click on a text input here to type in a text prompt. Let's say a classic chair with golden legs and uh, click generate. So it first generates an image of your prompt if you don't like that, you can click on this reload icon to regenerate something different. So I'm just, ah, I think I like this. And uh, you will see up here in your account that Rodin uses credits to generate your 3D models. So you need to have some credits to generate 3D models and you can get them by just going up here in your account and either buying them directly or buying a subscription. I would recommend just getting a subscription because you get more credits that way than if you're to just buy them directly if you have people to recommend you can get some free credits that you can use so the more people you recommend to use rodin the more free credits you can use for generating your models another good thing about this credit system is that you're not charged any credit until you confirm that you like what you have generated so i like this so i'm just going to click confirm here so that i get the image and then generate the 3d model so the AI generates a low resolution model just for us to preview and confirm that this is what we want before it goes on to generate a more detailed version. At this stage, you haven't been charged yet. And if you don't like the results, you can just click redo to redo the regeneration. You have 50 redos for any single generation before you are charged. I think that is quite generous. I think this matches exactly what this model is. They haven't added any materials because this is just to preview what you like that's why it's a simple low resolution generation so but i want to try out this redo option and see how it works so i'll just click redo so that it can regenerate this again you can see the process is really fast it doesn't take that much time to regenerate and now we have a better result so you can see even the isolated islands that that we are floating around here have been removed and uh, we are i think this is a much better representation of what we want uh, i like all the details so i can confirm here now when you when you want to confirm you get this prompt that asks you how many polygons you want to use you can generate a low resolution model with 3000 polygons 5000 10000 30000 or hyper hyper is just a more detailed more refined model that is generated. So I'm just going to select that. But if you move your cursor here, you'll see that this takes a little bit more time to process because you want to get a more refined model. I'm okay with that. So I'll just confirm that. And this is going to cost me three credits to generate 
this i'm just going to confirm here and the generation process is going to start yeah you can see now we're getting a really really detailed model here with good edge flow let's go to the wireframe here to geometry and wireframe just look at that i think this is amazing we can go one more step and generate the textures so i'm just going to click generate and it's going to cost me one credit to generate the materials i'm just going to confirm that and that will start doing its job now with that if you want to download this project you can either use obj fpx klb all the formats are here that blender supports uh, you can download that or you can even publish on sketchfab now i'm going to exit out out of this if you want to test out rodin you can get 50 percent extra credits on your first payment using the link in the description. Thank you.